Sometimes you gotta watch what you do, watch what you say. Niggas watch. thumbnail what this video is about man we're gonna be listing five things that i love about this charger bro so y'all stay tuned we're gonna find a little spot at the park and we're gonna we're gonna post up bro we're gonna we're gonna get this video started oh shit man man that's the only thing about houston man you gotta watch these potholes man but yeah man i ain't made a video in a while man you know i'm, I'm back with the content you know making my my debut back again i just been so busy with other stuff and trying to figure out what what i want to do with other stuff man so it's just making youtube you know it's it's something fun you know what i'm saying something fun i like doing for y'all you know what i'm saying in a few weeks man we finna go up we finna change the body style on this thing finna go away with that v6 hood you know what i'm saying i'm tired of that v6 hood bro i really am but got the roof open so i'm gonna close the roof for a little bit so y'all can see me a little better can y'all see me a little better? I don't know. But I'm gonna let the window down a little bit so y'all can get that, you know what I'm saying? Get that understanding with the exhaust. So I'm gonna try to give it to y'all the eco so y'all hit. They over there playing golf. <laughs> bro, my gosh, bro. I know y'all see this road, bro. So that's, why I, that's why I said I'm gonna stay in eco, bro. I ain't even gonna go crazy. We got school buses and field trips and stuff. Oh, it's summertime. But I got school buses. I'm tripping. You know, field trips. Oh, yeah. So we over here by the Houston Zoo right now. So, yeah, if you, if you live in Houston, man, definitely come to the zoo, bro. The museum district, bro, for sure. It's fun over here, bro. Yeah, I used to go to the zoo a lot when I was a kid, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you. I might have to go back to the zoo, bro. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, we just cruising right now, bro. You know, speed limit like 30. Get this little sharp turn real quick. You know, you know, we gotta do a little something. Can't, can't just be dry on the turn. You know. Oh. Hey, these 315s be holding though. I ain't gonna lie to you. I see why people go wild about it. But yeah, man, we finna post up at the park, bro. I'm probably gonna pop the hood. And we gonna, we gonna talk about a few things, bro. All right, so we finna talk about the Charger, bro. And pop the hood, let this thing cool off. We got the big V8, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm gonna talk about a year of ownership on this car, bro. You know what I mean? Not gonna lie, y'all. The year of owning this car has been, well, I wouldn't even say it's a year because a year will be in August, honestly. But it's all it's coming up on a year, so I'm kind of technically just gonna say it's been almost a year, a year not. But anyways, it's almost been a year since ownership of this car. Um, as y'all know, it was an accident that happened to the car, so I just got my car back. I probably been having it back for probably like maybe a month now. Number one thing I love about this car is the fact that it's good on gas, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. If I'm on half tank, I probably can put maybe 35, 40 in here, and that'll give me back to full, you know what I'm saying? But if I'm coming from a straight E, it's gonna be probably about, depending on how, what kind of gas I put in here, like normally I put mid, mid grade, uh, or put uh, super unleaded, like 93 octane sometimes. That's when I'm, you know, filming and doing other stuff, like racing people and stuff, but other than that, I don't really, I, just, I do like, Mini races, I don't be racing for real, for real. This is like the car I take out for videos and just have fun, you know what I'm saying? And also it has some type of technology in it to where, I forgot what it's called, but if you drive good, the gas mileage goes up. If you get on the road, it'll go up. I don't know how it just does it, because I guess it's saving gas and it's using less cylinders. So I guess instead of using all your cylinders when you drive in Eco, it use, only use four cylinders when you driving, and like on a steady road. Like you're just going 65 for a whole hour your gas mileage is gonna go up because it's only using four cylinders. All right, the thing number two, um, approaching a year of ownership, 
one thing I can say I love about this car, it's a modification that I done myself. So as y'all can see, I got the LED side markers. They're really, really bright, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you, especially at night. It look dope at night. So that's a number. That's one of the things I do love about this car that I added. It took me a while to do this. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. But uh, I didn't take the I didn't take the wheels off. I just pulled back the little plastic piece and unscrewed it and did it myself. Number three, you know what I'm saying? The third thing I like about this car is number one, this number three, this paint. The paint on this car is just to me it's different. You know, when I seen this color and I had I had the black rims on there. I fell in love with it. I was like, man, this car is beautiful. Like, you know, even though it's a, like a V6 body style, I'm just looking at it like, man, for 2017, this car actually was a beauty. I ain't gonna lie to you. It came with the blackout package, so it came with the blackout emblems and, you know, stuff like that. The blacked out charger, RT, the spoiler. It didn't come with the, the five inch tips. Obviously, I had to change those out. If you, if you guys know, come with the valences. I don't like those. So I put five inch tips. When I put the five inch tips on it, that's when I thought I was somebody, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I ain't gonna lie to you. Number four is these wheels, bro. Like, I'm in love with these wheels, but I got a train right there. I'm in love. I might make a little noise, so I might talk a little louder, but I'm in love with these wheels, bro. These wheels, oh my gosh. These wheels are beautiful. I get so many compliments on these wheels, bro, with the concave. They're dirty right now, but as y'all can see, these are OEM SRT wheels, wide body wheels with 315s on them god dang bro blowing this on bro blowing my video all right i had to stop because the dude was being obnoxiously with the horn but anyways it's these wheels man you know what i'm saying i love these wheels the bronze brass monkey wheels i do got to get them touched up a little bit they got a little bit of curb brass from the previous owner to adam before me i'm like the fourth owner with these <laughs> so for them to look this good and still kind of like hold up, it's gonna be a little curb rash here and there. But I think this one is the best looking one, if I'm not mistaken. This one don't really have too much curb rash on it. Yeah, the back one don't got too much curb rash on it, but the other one's got a, a fair amount of rash on them. A little chipping on the paint, you know what I'm saying? You gotta get that touched. There's nothing major, you know what I'm saying? I gotta say number five is the sunroof. I gotta say the sunroof, bro. You know what I'm saying? Every car, my thing is, if you're spending over 20, 30K on one of these cars, make sure you have a sunroof, bro. And make sure it got the little wind guard that pops up when you let the roof all the way back. And there is no reason why you should be spending almost 30, 35 to 40K on a car with a V8 in it. Y'all see the lights turned off? But anyways, it's no reason why you should be paying that much amount of money for a car that doesn't have um, a sunroof in it and uh, i forgot to mention also I, I love these this is gonna be a part of number five too these paddle shifters i got don't put on here too the red ones i like those don't mind the carpet i ain't got i gotta get this thing clean bro i haven't been driving it so this has just been sitting in my uh my parking lot so but yeah man those are the five things i love about this car bro you know what i'm saying and also i love the engine too I love the exhaust too man you know the exhaust sounds beautiful it's my dream car bro you know when you actually get something you actually love and work hard to get, you know what I'm saying, over a course of time. You know, man, it was times, bro, where I in life, bro, where I thought I'd never be owning something like this. I'm not gonna lie to you, like, just keep it real with you. Um, I went a long time not having what I really wanted, you know what I'm saying? I went a long time sacrificing you know, those impulsive decisions to not, to not get what I wanted, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, I waited like six years to have a car like this, you know what I'm saying? So. I got this specific model because for content reasons. I, I could have easily got a 2020 easily. Could have got the new body style. Could have got a, could have easily got a scat. But I chose to get a 20 set, like a car that's kind of like in the middle almost. That's going like kind of like almost going to the new year, like far as body style. But it's, it's kind of like right in the middle. So this was like the perfect car for me, a 2017 Charger RT. This was the best option for me. Then I seen this paint. Like when I, overall, bro, this car, I love it, bro. Because it's like a good car. It's like that, that, that branch car, that car that's like in between, like, like when they changed the body style, when it was still kind of like the old body style. As y'all can see, it got the Hellcat spoiler. It got, you know what I'm saying? So I think in 2017, the Daytona's had the SRT body style, if I'm not mistaken. But it's just something about this car, bro, that I love a lot, bro. You know what I'm saying? And let's believe guys we upgrading the bumpers and the hood and everything we're gonna do that soon uh first we'll get the bumper done 
and then after the bumper we're gonna get the hood side skirts and then that and then after we get the bumper side skirts the back bumper side skirts hood and the front bumper we're gonna get this thing wrapped bro i already got a beautiful wrap idea car gonna be dope bro i'm not gonna lie to you i got my guy easy at customs gonna wrap it it's gonna be dope bro see i make sure y'all stick around the channel man definitely man we got a lot of i was gonna go wide body but i changed my mind because i'd rather put that money towards once i get done refreshing the body style and rap i'd rather put the rest of that money towards putting uh my performance mods on this car so we're gonna go with looks first then performance you know what i'm saying so you can't look fast and not be fast so we're gonna get everything together get that motor good we're gonna get a tune we're gonna go headers uh intake and uh we're just gonna go full boat on and get a tune and see what, what kind of numbers we get from that you know what i'm saying so y'all just stay tuned man i appreciate y'all for tuning in this is almost a year of ownership of this car and this five things that I, so far i love about it thank y'all for tuning in it's been jr tv man it's your way